Thank you to Zyro for sponsoring this video. In today's part three of three video series about how to create your own author website, I'm walking you through exactly how to create the testimonials and review page and a blogging page for your self-published books. What is going on guys? Welcome to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Dane and on this channel I talk all about self-publishing books on Amazon, on entrepreneurship and just lifestyle in general. So if that kind of thing interests you, make sure you subscribe, drop a like on the video and hit the notification bell so you know when I post new videos. In today's video, again, I'm going over part three of three of the video series about how to create your own author website for your self-published books. If you've been following along with this video series, in part one, we went over how to create the homepage along with the footer and the library section, which is basically all your featured books. And then in part two, we went over how to create an about us page for your author or your publishing brand. And also we went over how to create the freebie offer page, which is basically where people can sign up, submit their email and get a free book from you. And in exchange, you get their email so you can promote things to them in the future. In part three, we're gonna be going over how to create the testimonial page and how to create a blogging section. To do this, we're gonna be using Zyro, all right? And Zyro is something that's very simple, very easy to use. And it's honestly, in my opinion, probably the perfect option if you're looking to make a self-publishing or a, a author branded website for your self-published books. Because for one thing, it's very affordable. And for two, it's super simple and easy to set up. So it's very quick, efficient, and it's just my favorite option. So if you're wondering why, you do get a free domain when you sign up for Zyro as well. So that's something that's a bonus, save some money there. They have 24 seven customer support and they also have a 30 day money back guarantee. So you're kind of guaranteed there. It's a bit of a safety net if you don't like the service. And if you're wondering how much it costs, you can see on screen here, it's very affordable. $3.50 for one month on the simple plan. And I'll let you guys choose whatever plan best suits your needs. And the best part is if you use my code Dane, you can see it right here. First link in the description down below, click that, use my code Dane, and you're gonna get a very hefty discount. Okay, you can see my code is applied in the screenshot here, and this is only literally $3.50 per month on their starter plan. All right, so very affordable very easy to use. So again, for a limited time, if you use the code Dane, you can get those sweet, sweet deals, okay? It's very affordable to get started with Zyro today and start building your author website. So anyways, guys, let's go over the first section that I'm gonna talk about for part three here, and that is going to be creating your testimonial slash review page for your books. And this is very simple, but in my opinion, very important to have on your author website. So the key sections here are having the header, which I'll show you what it looks like. Choose your testimonial review style. I'll show you how you choose that. And then adding in your testimonial interview and having a subscribe form at the bottom. And this is part of every single page. If you've been following along, this should be on all your pages already. If you're not following along, I'll show you what that means. So going over to Zyro here, I'm not gonna go into detail how to set up Zyro. I've already done that a few times now. You can watch the prior videos, which are all linked down below. You can see up top here, we have our navigation menu. And again, if you wanna create a new page, go to edit navigation. And I prefer just to go like this, click a cog on a page that's already created and click duplicate. That way we have all of our pages. So let's go to the reviews page here. You can call this testimonials, you can call it reviews, whatever you wanna do. If you wanna edit the page title, for example, you can go in here, cog and click rename. So we have our header image. And again, this header comes along with my template, my theme that I chose through Zyro. And if you're curious, you wanna use the same theme, it's called Marcia Coco. It's one of the themes in there. And it's, it's a very good theme just for making your author website. If you wanna change the header image back here, all you gotta do is go up here to the top, make sure you clicked into it and click change background. And I can go image and go replace images. And I just use one of the free images provided by Zyro. If you look up anything up here, you can literally type in like leaves <laughs> and you'll see a bunch of leaves that you can add on to your page. Okay, so whatever suits your brand or your author, you can make those your headers. And then all I did was change the text to reviews. Again, you can make it testimonials, whatever suits your style. So below that, I have this section here, okay? And this is kind of a testimonial section. And luckily with Zyro, they literally have a dedicated testimonials thing. So you can just add it in and then copy and paste your best reviews from your book. So for example, all I did was go add section. If I want to add in a testimonial section to this page and I can scroll down, I can go testimonials. And you can see there's different styles of testimonials that you can choose from. I just chose this one right here, okay? It's got, there's four main testimonials. And if you have eight testimonials, just add two of these sections in, very simple. Straightforward. And you can see, I'm gonna delete the section I just added. I'll just do undo up top. But I just put, here's what your, our customers have to say. And then for these sections, all I suggest you do is go to amazon.com and grab the reviews from your books and pop them onto your site. So for example, if I was using, this isn't my book, but it's just a book, for example, I can go to my ratings and I'll grab maybe this, this five-star review from John Monk. And I'll just go like this, copy it, go back to zero, go in here, paste. And obviously you probably wanna shorten it a little bit so it fits in with the style, this one's very long. 
But if you want to make sure it pastes in the same font, you can go Command Shift V, and it's going to it's going to copy the the same style of font that you had there. Okay, so Command Shift V is going to copy the the style. Okay, and then obviously you'd probably want to shorten this down. I'm going to go undo here, or I'll just delete this, <clears throat> and I'll just go like this, duplicate that. Let's pop this one back over here. So you have four of them, um, and then you can add in the guy's name, John Monk. But if the review is too long, obviously, just edit the, the length of it. And I do that for four different reviews. So I go back here, I'd find another review that's great, five stars, and pop it onto my testimonials page. Simple, straightforward, just adds a little bit more credibility, a little more social proof when people land on your website if they wanna see some reviews of your publishing brand or your books that you're selling through your publishing brand. And below that, I have a contact form, and this kind of comes along with the theme, again, like I was saying, uh, the Marcia theme. But you can always add in a contact form by simply clicking up here, add element, and clicking contact form. So makes things super simple. And then below that, I have my subscribe form, which again, is just seriously as simple as going up top here, clicking subscribe, it'll add it onto here. And then we have the form. And if you wanna make sure you have the name section like I do, click the form, click edit. I can go to fields and I can add, add in additional forms. So if you wanted to add in a phone number section, I can go phone number. And then for the placeholder text, I go your phone number. And I'll just go plain text and then I go save, but I'll just, I don't really need this one. So let's get rid of it. I'll just go remove field. And then above that, I do have a subscribe for a free book text. And all I did to add that in, that doesn't come with the subscribe form when you drag it onto that or when you choose it for Zyro. I just went like this, click text, and then I added it in there and I put subscribe for a free book. And if you don't know about the free book thing, I talked about it in our last video. So part two of this video series. So if you are confused, watch that video and I talk about what the free book thing is. And finally, if you want to view the submissions for these forms, all you have to do is click this cog down here, go to uh, general settings, form submissions, and you'll see both of the lists right here with the emails and what people have said. Okay, so very simple, very straightforward with Zyro for the reviews page. So let's talk about the blog page now. So creating your blog page, the key sections for this one to focus on are the header, which I've already shown you, it's on every page, blog sections, what to talk about in blogs, Amazon affiliate links disclaimer. So I'll show you what that means in just a second and a subscribe form. So let's go to my blog page here. Again, I have the header up top, I added blog header text, Simple, and then I added this background image. And the section that I added for my blog, all I did was go add section, click on blog, and there's a blogging section. So nice and easy, okay? And it, looks, it just looks professional. And the thing with blogs, having them on your website, is that you can include certain keywords that will rank on Google and help your, rank, your website rank organically. So when people maybe search best vegetables to grow hydroponically, this article might show up on Google. Someone will click it, they'll land on your website and they'll see all your books. They might end up being a customer for you. So that's why having a blog is something that's very crucial because it helps your website rank for SEO. So I do have two examples here, best vegetables to grow hydroponically or 10 easy, easy DIY home improvement projects. So for blogging, my suggestion to you is kind of to make listy topics that are related to your uh, niche. So my niche is household creative, so household stuff. Um, so I have these lists here. So best vegetables that grow hydroponically, 10 easy DIY home improvement projects. Very simple, just listy things that I can add as blog posts. And then maybe I'll write 200 word, 300 word blog post. Doesn't have to be extreme. And you can hire outsourced blog post writing to someone else as well. So that's, that's kind of what I would do if you're looking for ideas for blog posts. So if you wanna add in a blog post, all I gotta do is go edit page or edit post. You can see I go up here, change post title. I can edit the title. I can make a new description. And then you can go right here and add in your post content. Okay, so I can start typing whatever I want on my blog. And I did mention Amazon affiliate links. So that is one thing that you can do if you wanna monetize your publishing brand or your publishing business in general, is on top of just selling books, you could have Amazon affiliate links on your website and your blog. So for example, if I'm, this one's probably not the best example in terms of Amazon affiliate links, but if I wanted to add in an affiliate link for the home improvement one, um, I could add in different product before you even can do that. You have to apply for Amazon affiliates, which is very simple. Just look it up on Google. You can apply for it. And then you can have any product on Amazon be something that you promote on your website. And anytime someone buys it through your website, you get commission. It's just how affiliate marketing works. So for example, if I was using the home improvement one, I could recommend a couple of home improvement tools like a drill or a hammer or something like that. And I'll find those tools on Amazon, pop them into the list of the bet top 10 best DIY home improvement things and say, hey, this drill right here is great for project number four. Here's the link to buy it. And that link will take people directly to Amazon and they can buy it. And when they do, you're gonna get an affiliate commission. Okay, so it's just another way to make money off of your website and your publishing brand in general. First things first, create the blog. Next, come up with some topics. 
then maybe hire an outsource a writer or just write the, the blogs yourself. And then while you're writing it, keep in mind that some things that you might want to include are products from amazon.com, okay? And this is literally just done through Amazon affiliates. So I'm not going to show you how to apply for it right now, but it's very simple. You can go here and sorry, it's not affiliates, it's Amazon associates. You can sign up for that. And that way you can literally link anything on Amazon and get a commission for when someone buys it through your recommendation on your website. One thing to keep in mind is that at the bottom of this page of this blog, if you do happen to include any of those affiliate links, um, it's always a good idea just to add in this text here. Well, or, sorry, let's go. Before we add in the text, I need to duplicate this so I can add in this text here. So go like this, add the, duplicate the blog section. And then for this section, just add in a affiliate earnings disclaimer. Okay, so if you're gonna include affiliate links in your blog post, it's important to add in a disclaimer saying, hey, if you buy, if you click one of the links here and you buy it, I may earn a commission off of your purchase. And you can get these disclaimers online. Okay, so if I look up affiliate link disclaimer example and there's going to be tons and tons of examples and just choose one that best suits you and it'll be very easy to use on your website you can see disclosure we endorse things we, we've personally used or come highly recommended for my trusting peers if you grab anything we mentioned off our, it's literally just a little statement like that making it clear that if someone clicks a link on your site that's an affiliate link and they purchase that product you might earn a commission off of that product something to add into the bottom of your blog posts on your site Okay, and if you want to save it, I'm just going to go you can make it public or draft there, but I'm, it's already auto saving. So that's fine. So anyways, guys, that is how to add in a blog post or a blog section to your website through Zyra. And I, I honestly, I think that's pretty simple. And overall, like that is pretty much it for creating your website. That's all you really need to have a, a, a very well-established website for your publishing brand. In my opinion, it's something that makes you look a lot more professional. And if someone searches you on Google, I think the blog area is the best way to get it ranking. People might find your brand, they might turn into a customer, a long-term customer, and someone who leaves reviews on all your books, buys all your books, stuff like that. So you can see we have our homepage, our library page, free offer, about us, blog, and reviews. So those are our main pages that we've used with Zyro. Very simple, very easy to use. Highly, highly, highly recommend Zyro. It makes it super simple. Again, guys, if you want to get Zyro and set up, make sure you use the coupon code DANE. First link in the description down below. It's available for a limited time. You'll get these exclusive prices. Look how cheap this is. Like. <laughs> Very, very affordable to get started with Zyro today. So anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this three-part video series. I know I did. It's very simple to do. And in my opinion, creating that author website is just something that establishes you as an authority figure in your brand and makes things look so much more professional. So if you guys enjoyed it, make sure you subscribe, drop a like on the video and hit the notification bell so you know when I post new videos. I try to post new videos about self-publishing, online entrepreneurship and lifestyle every single week. So anyways, guys, that's it for today. And I'll see you in next week's video. Peace. And last thing before I let you guys go, I do want to remind you that Zyro has that exclusive offer going on right now. If you use the code DANE, you'll get an exclusive discount plus three extra months and you get a free domain with annual plans. You see right here, you get the free domain, you get 24 seven customer support, which is just amazing. And you get that 30 day money back guarantee. And on top of that, Zyro is honestly one of the fastest loading platforms that you can use, whether it's an online store or just your website. Faster loading times means a better customer experience, which means increased revenue and also just better customer feedback for your brand or your publishing business, whatever it is. Zyro is extremely fast. You get that free domain, use the code Dane. You also get the three extra months. And also, come on, look how affordable this, this pricing is per month here. So you can't really go wrong with Zyro. You also have the 30 day money back guarantee. So make sure you take advantage of that limited time offer by using the code Dane today to sign up with Zyro.